Uh, well, good morning, everybody. It's been uh, it's been a while. It's been a month or so ish since I've done a video, um, but I've done a lot of videos. And what I ended up doing about a month or so ago is I bought a uh, a new GoPro Hero 10, and this thing is absolutely incredible. Uh, the audio in it is crystal clear. The video quality is amazing. Um, it's been a really great, really, <laughs> I was using the combination of cool and great together. Great, that's a new word for the day. Uh, it's been a really great thing. Problem is, my laptop is too old. It doesn't like, I guess, the processor or the software in that. And uh, so I haven't been able to use my laptop for it. And I can upload it to my phone, but I bought that because of my phone numbers. So every time I try to upload it to my phone, it doesn't work out. Good morning. Love you too, brother. It's not working out. So I figured I'd just uh, go ahead and go old school with it with my phone sitting here it's November 12th I think it's the 12th yes yeah, 12 uh, it's about 7 7 o'clock this morning been here for a little bit just getting uh, watching the world wake up and uh, getting ready for the day so a lot of things have happened uh, in the last month or so a lot of things and uh, and to be honest with you I've done an absolutely terrible job of trying to do this vlog thing um, obviously it's colder outside so I have thermals, hoodies insulated bibs you know I'm not really uh, I'm not really ready for the winter quite yet um, today's supposed to be I mean the last couple of days it's been like 70s uh, tonight's like low 30s and so uh, it's going to be a little a little more fallish in the next couple of days um, but I've done some really cool um, projects, had some really cool commissions, and I'll probably put those in now. shop a little bit so we've rearranged a bunch of stuff um, I got my little coffee area set up crock pot I've been uh, killing it with some beef stew lately um, kind of beef stewed out right now I uh, hung up this TV and my customers gave to me and uh, it's really cool because I have a couple thousand pictures on here of stuff that I've done over the last few years uh, some older stuff on there as well, and uh, it's been been a really really cool thing to see all the old carvings. And I remember, no, seven like that went to Pennsylvania about two and a half years ago um, on each side of the door. Like it's it's crazy. I remember all the pieces. Uh, just a picture of the the old shop and how it was laid out. So. Yeah, it allows me to reminisce a little bit, and uh, yeah, super cool, super cool. So recently I just started carrying some of my friend's artwork, and I got the Fat Bob's coffee mugs, tumblers, those are all laser engraved, got uh, some new Fat Bob stickers. This is a really cool thing, 
uh, it's the last one I got left and um, my dad has started making candles so him and my grandma are doing it together uh, they get to spend time together I think he sent me a couple pictures I might throw those in here too um, but it's a really awesome thing and they smell great I didn't realize there's so much science into making a candle because like a year ago I was like oh we should make candles because everybody walks in the shop it's like oh I love the smell of cedar and in my head I was like oh well, maybe we should sell candles that smell like it and I was like oh I just throw it together it'd be easy no problem it's not and my dad is the right person for it so I'm really happy he's doing that um, again got some, some other friend stuff I just made this little dude the other day kind of a funky dude it was a uh, a branch coming off the tree and I just wanted to uh, it just spoke to me so I'm a little bear like laying in a log and he's got a cool little personality fun little piece um, let's see what else so a friend of mine he's a photographer he's taking pictures these are a couple of his prints uh, more friends of mine's uh, have a lathe and so they're doing all these with bowls and bases and different things johnny's still killing with the flags rick with the clocks another friend of mine from ohio is making all these hand saws and uh different little things and so let's see let's see so a couple of big things that have happened is i sold the white truck and went to north carolina spent some time with my dad and grandma and brought his old truck back and I love this thing it's old 76 f-150 super cab long bed it's a boat man. <laughs> it is a boat for sure uh, we named it brownie obvious obvious reasons um, but it's its own vibe it's its own energy and there's nothing like driving an old truck the steering is insane um, the brakes are there and it runs great but it's uh man just wait you want to roll down some of the windows put on like some old merle Haggard or johnny cash and hit a hit a good old back road and just just go cruising so yeah i love love driving the truck uh oh, i'm over here too updated the fj finally got the stickers put on those came out really great um my dad actually was here a couple weeks ago and he uh, so that's the look of it from the side view. Really subtle. Um, it's that really cool kind of camo-y black. It's got satin matte and gloss finish. So in the sun, it looks a little, you can kind of see it there. Got a little texture to it, but really, really like it actually, yeah. I got one more to put on. I haven't quite decided where I'm going to do with it. Uh, I picked up another project because <laughs> I have all the time on my hands. Um, but this came, and this is awesome camera work, by the way. I picked up this 1955 International R100 uh, from a buddy of mine. It's got the, it's got a frame and wheels and tires, all that. But we took everything off. I took some logs and made custom wheels for it. And we named, uh, named this one Stumpy. We got it out here on display. And it's just got the perfect look to it. It fits right in. And um, yeah. <laughs> Rick is starting on the project we're calling The Thing. So this thing's gonna be awesome. Uh, obviously a beautiful cedar tree. The other side has a ton, a ton of heartwood in it. And it is to get it stood up. You put like almost an obnoxious amount of bears climbing. God, look at this camera's awesome. Um, climbing all over it. Have like a good picture taking spot for the shop here. And uh, yeah, so he's been working on it for a little while. We gotta get it flipped over so the ceiling stay on the other side of it. And this is a piece, I actually sold it yesterday. I did actual GoPro carving video with this, and again my computer is awful. So I have this video. I have a bunch of like 
random videos that almost don't make sense anymore uh, because all the moments have come and gone so uh, but a guy came in yesterday fell in love with it we're gonna add a little cub to the bottom here and uh, get it finished up in the next week or so another custom order that I'm doing that guy's the beginning of rough out got some some rough outs over here but the shop's really coming together uh, we've We've added a lot of stuff. We've changed a couple things, which is a, a constant thing. But it's uh, it's really starting to get a, a personality and energy and a vibe, and um, really excited for how things are, are really coming together. It's been a definite blessing and um, just love and support of all my friends and family and. Uh, yeah, um, this is a piece that I'm working on right now. It is actually going to be a monk. It's a copy of a statue, and I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Sinron. I don't know. <laughs> I've been calling it Sinbad, <laughs> which is completely off. But uh, just started on this yesterday. I only got a couple tanks into it so far. Um, and this will be a project for the next few days or so. Got a lot to do. Luckily, there's a lot of material to work with and uh, get it done. So obviously, the shop is insane right now. Um, this is a really special piece. There's some, some amazing people. And if you'll just keep them in your thoughts and prayers, they're great people. But they came back for a call to spa day and uh, just gonna do some touch ups and, and refresh it. So I do a lifetime warranty with all of them. I tell anybody they can bring it back to me and I'll touch it up, reseal it, do all that for free uh, for life. So, um, so I think I have some pictures of the commission and stuff, but I'm working on getting the computer this thing I've spent a lot of money on accessories and all this stuff and it's just kind of not been able to use it like I thought I was going to be able to and so um, we'll get it though so I think so the audio is incredible way better than my phone here and uh, so we'll, we'll get it going but really with this video I just wanted to say hey I appreciate all the new subscribers um, I did like a Q&A session on the, on the GoPro and what I'll do on the next video is once I figure this thing out, or even if I have to do it this way, I'll, uh, I'll reply to some of y'all's uh, comments and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, it's been a, October was an insane month. It's usually one of my busier months anyway. Um, let's see if I can put this down. Uh, so it was nonstop. Uh, look at this. It was and this week i met a uh, a new carver his name's justin he stopped by the shop uh a week ago today actually and the carving a little over a year now wanted a new spot to set up and uh i just felt like he's a perfect fit here and uh excited him to come in and do some carving and he's got a really cool style showed them uh, a couple techniques already and we're gonna, we're gonna grow and learn and teach some things along the way and really grow in his art and uh, I'm excited for him to be here it's really really cool it's it's really helped me really this week it's, it's helped me a lot um, just having another part of here um, it, it's it's a whole nother vibe so really excited I'm really tired I mean, you probably can tell um, it's been some long days this week, but we're uh, we're getting after it, trying to get ready for the Christmas season. Um, got a bunch of orders to get done between now and then, and now it's starting to come to like a time crunch. And so I'm trying to trying to get stuff done, and uh, so having them here is really going to open up some some time for me to, to focus on some orders that uh, have taken me a little bit longer than I expected to. I feel like the fact that it's been so busy. I haven't been able to, to just focus on the carving. There's so many people like Scott Larry today. And it's amazing, excuse me. It's amazing. Um, so, it's just another face here. 
if I'm on the chainsaw, you can stop talking to people. But I'll show you the back of more, more raw. It's a more raw style with the chainsaw. Um, like I said, he's been carving a little over a year now. Um, we get these pumpkins here. He's got all these little bears up here. And yeah, so I'm going to refine his style, show him, like I said, show him some techniques and stuff that I've learned along the way. And hopefully that'll help him incorporate some of his pieces into some of his pieces and rock it out that way. I don't know if you saw it just now, but we added a fire pit about a month ago now. Especially this cool weather, it's it's so awesome. So we're eventually gonna put some gravel in around here, hang some string lights that are gonna come from the roof, probably to about right here, and uh, have a bunch of them come out through here, light everything. Now that it's getting dark at 5.30 in the afternoon, <laughs> uh, it's not my favorite. <laughs> it's not my favorite. Um, and it being cold. So. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let's see, for about 15, 40 minute video. Uh, I just wanted to, to take this morning. I've been wanting to do this for the last few days. Um, and this morning just seemed like the perfect day for it uh, before it gets all great. But just want to take a minute, say hey, I appreciate you guys watching this. I have a bunch of carving videos on this thing. And as soon as I figure it out, I'll do a uh, kind of a step-by-step. -step. I got a chest mount and a head mount and a mount mount. <laughs> so um, as soon as I get a new laptop, I'll be able to upload everything, edit it uh, on the computer. I've been doing everything from the phone like I said before. So. Uh, but I love y'all. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have got a little inspiration through this and, and if tried some wood carving yourself. Um, but like I said, we'll we'll do some more in depth, some more carving videos, and get these ones edited. I'll include a lot of stuff. Probably this once we get past Christmas, um, I'll try to focus on on really doing some 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 awesome carving videos. Right now it's just so busy; it's hard to it's hard to maintain the business or videos looks a lot but like I said having Justin here is gonna really really benefit Fat Bob's Wood Co. We got some amazing things happening right around the corner. And I don't want to talk about them too much. Um, a lot of cool things to look forward to. Um, the business is growing. It's another opportunity to 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 have that growth and, and keep going. So um, really excited about it really pushing hard and, and staying motivated to get get towards this goal so uh, but i'm just rambling on so i love y'all i hope you have a blessed day thank you for joining me on this journey of changing the world one piece at a time um, if you have any questions comments go ahead and uh leave them on this video like i said I'd, i'll do a, a q a and answer some of the questions um I think that's about it. There's a lot. There's been a lot, so just trying to give you like the, the fast paced version of everything. But uh, y'all get after it, fire up a chainsaw, go out there, make some noise, make some sawdust, and uh, I will definitely be seeing you guys soon. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I really appreciate it. I love y'all. See ya. <laughs>